Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today is another episode of Hilo Tech and in this one we're going to be taking a look at one of the best items in the game and that is the Hopper. Introduced in Minecraft 1.5, it is honestly strange to think about a Minecraft that exists without hoppers. They are so, so useful. To think about all the crazy stuff we had to do before they were introduced, AFK streams and sending items through into the nether. Now, all you need is a hopper to pick up your items, transfer them along a line and into somewhere that you need them. So in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different ways in which you can improve your efficiency with them and also learn about some of the mechanics behind this absolute brilliant mechanism. So, let's begin. In this first design, we are going to be discussing a very important game mechanic, one that you really do need to be aware of. So here, I've got a little bit of a demonstration. We have got an input chest and we have got two output chests. And what I want you to do is say which chest do you think this item is going to be going into. So here we go, place our diamond in there. And now A or B, well, funnily enough, it isn't chest A, it is in fact chest B, and that is due to the way the hoppers work. They always test for a hopper beneath before they travel along. So the item essentially went down into this hopper, and then it went bink, and then it went, is there a hopper beneath me? Yes, there is. I'll transfer the item downwards before going across. So the item went a bit like this and into chest B. Now, using this mechanic, we can create a very useful storage system that allows for mass storage of items. So for anyone who still isn't following, what we have up here is a line of hoppers. They are running along like this. If you were to just look at this line, obviously the items would run along like that. But obviously, because there is a hopper beneath this one, it will take the item out and it will drop down into this hopper. And before going into that chest, this hopper is going to be like, hey, I want that item. So the item will flow into this one. And it's the same story again. This one at the bottom will be like, yo, that's mine. And finally, it will end up in this chest, as you will see here. So you place our diamond in and it will travel down to this chest at the bottom. Now, once this chest is filled up, it will obviously fill into this chest and then this chest. And then once this hopper is filled up, obviously no more items can flow into there. So it will flow into the next one and our chest system will fill up just like this. Now for anyone who is confused as to how I have got these double chests next to each other, some of these are trap chests and some are normal chests. And using that technique, you put them right next to each other, which is really helpful as well. For anyone that's still struggling, I'm going to do a really quick tutorial on it. So here we go. This is how you place the chest. These are normal chest. And then we have got the trap chest and they go straight next to each other. Then all you have to do is run a line of hoppers along like this, one block above all of your chests. And finally, just run all of your hoppers into these chests here by shift clicking on the chests. And there we go. That is your system entirely set up. So if we bung all of these items into our hoppers, you should see they will all end up in this chest. So there we go. That is our mass storage system done. The second build that I've got for you is arguably one of the most important, if not one of the coolest. It is an automatic sorting system. So let's just bung a couple of these items in here. I'd say 16 diamonds, uh, a few pieces of iron, a little bit of gold, and a couple of emeralds. And you know what? We're going to remove some of those diamonds because they are going to take absolutely ages to go down. But anyway, let's close that out and we will see where all, all of these items get to. So this one here... None of them have got through yet, but there we go. We have got our four diamonds in there, our four iron, we've got our three gold, and then finally our three emeralds. So, yeah, this thing is pretty fancy, and it is also extremely powerful. Can work for a very nice, fully automatic sorting system. I'm going to be showing you how to build this for four chests, but you can do it for as many as you like. The first thing you have to do is place your hoppers running along in a line. I'm going to extend it by one further so that we can place a chest on top ready for the input of the items. The next thing that you want to do is you just want to place a line of temporary blocks. Now the way that we're going to do that is just like this one. Then you want to go around here and place hoppers running into each of those blocks just like this. Then you can remove all of those temporary ones and place a chest on these and a trap chest on the one in between them. So there we go. Then you want to head round the back and this is the pattern that you need to remember. You want to place a block up like this and just create this sort of shape. Place a comparator and then some redstone dust 
running down like this. Now the reason that we're doing this, and I'm going to try my best to explain here, is because comparators give off an analog output, which means it varies on the amount of items that you've got in this hopper. Now eventually we're going to fill this up with something like 22 items, which is right on the threshold, and any more items than that, the redstone signal is going to go up from 1 to 2, which means that we can take an output from down here that will only turn on when there's a certain number of items in that hopper, and that will allow the item to pass through so then we just have to go underneath and place a redstone torch that will lock this bottom here unless there are enough items in this hopper in which case it will let one go through then all you have to do is just tile that design a good suggestion is to place all of your repeaters down first and then do it all at once that is all these blocks and all these blocks here and then the redstone dust can go in like this don't worry about it connecting it doesn't matter and there we go, that is that bit, and then you just want to go down here. You might have to take out a couple of blocks for this, but place down all of your redstone torches underneath these hoppers. But there we have it, that is your item sorter complete. The very last thing that you have to do before you want to start using it is of course put all of the items into your hoppers and the way that you do that is you place 22 items in the hopper but you place them across and then the 18 at the end. Now the reason that we do this is so no other items can get into the hopper because obviously that would mean that it's not sorting the items, it's just funneling them through in a fancy way which we definitely don't want. So you want to do that for each type of item and you should end up with something a little bit like this. Now one word of warning is that if this chest fills up and it backs up through this hopper and also into this hopper it's going to create a few problems because obviously the redstone power is going to get stronger and stronger it's going to merge into the next ones all of the items are going to flow out of these hoppers and it's just going to make it a big mess so if you don't want one with that kind of problem then there are others on youtube and i will put links to those in the description so that you can check them out for yourselves the last little thing that I have to show you isn't really that special, however, is a very nice and efficient way to have downwards falling items. So there we go, we place an item into this chest and you will see it ends up at the bottom. Now the reason that I'm showcasing this is because a lot of people just put a straight line of hoppers going all the way down and it's a bit of a waste, you know, it's a bit of a waste of that iron. So instead you can do it with chests and it works just fine. In fact, you can do it with almost anything. If you wanted to, you could do it with droppers or dispensers who knows what you've got loads of but what you want to do is you just want to place a storage container hopper storage container hopper instead of hopper 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 so i'll just show you how to do this so it's quite simply place your hopper or place your chest at the bottom and then hold shift click and place your hopper and then hold shift click place your chest hold shift place hopper, chest, etc, 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 going all the way up. If you want a good way to transfer items upwards, because, you know, we've got the downwards, if you want ones that go upwards, then I have actually done a video on this fairly recently. It's called Quick and Easy Item Elevators. You can search it, and hopefully I'll remember to put the link in the description for that one as well. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of High Low Tech. I thought this one was really fun to record, and it's a great way to give you guys information. You are really loving the High Low Tech series, so I thank you for that. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.